Now, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video, and please welcome back once again to my channel. I'm right here yet again with another political episode, but please support me by subscribing, and also don't forget to press the notification bell so that YouTube can automatically update you immediately I post a video here. Otherwise, I really want to appreciate my subscribers so much because without the support, this channel cannot be where it is currently. So feel very much welcome as you watch and I really don't take your support for granted. So Raila Odinga together with other Azumi Olomoja Alliance leaders and supporters are too much excited. They are very happy because first of all, President William Ruto personally made a call to Raila Odinga for a meeting and a peaceful dialogue in State House so that he can now come up with an agreement to solve the issues that have been affecting both of them, Ray Lodinga and President William Ruto, in regards to the previous 2022 general election. And that is why immediately after that meeting, we heard for the first time President William Ruto publicly calling Ray Lodinga his brother. You know, William Ruto has been calling Ray Lodinga different names, but his brother, no. He has been calling Ray Lodinga Buonatinga, Mzeo Kitendawili, uh, and other several names. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, President William Ruto finally agreed to fulfill Raila Odinga's demands. And they agreed to come up with uh, how to solve these issues using mm -hmm. uh, the bipartisan approach, whereby they will now collaborate between Raila Odinga and President William Ruto to fulfill Ray Lodinga's demands, what he has been demanding, so that at least he cannot go out there to call for mass action again, to call for unnecessary demonstrations, which can cause, which can impact negatively to the uh, people of the Republic of Kenya. And that, ladies and gentlemen, President William Ruto requested, convinced, or begged Ray Lodinga to call off his mass action across the country because he has now agreed for a peaceful dialogue together with him. And that is why the Azmio Lomoja Alliance leaders, the Azmio Lomoja Alliance supporters out there, they are just thumping. They are saying that Ray Lodinga is a political genius. They are saying that Ray Lodinga can, uh, can frustrate you until, until you, give, you, you decide to give in to his demands. They are saying that President William Ruto has finally surrendered. He has decided to give in to Ray Lodinga's demands. They are saying that Baba is a genius. <laughs> but in my considered opinion, ladies and gentlemen, this is a well-structured, a well-laid political trap between that was that was organized by the US President Joe Biden, who was on the forefront because Joe Biden's administration was against Ray Lodinga's mass action across the country. That is why. He had to invite or to send his uh, the U.S. delegates and led by the, 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 the U.S. Senator Chris Coons and also uh, the U.S. Ambassador to Kenya uh, so that they can engineer the dialogue. So it was a well-laid trap, political trap between Joe Biden, President William Ruto, Rigati Gashagwa and several other leaders including even also the religious leaders and clearly Raila Odinga is falling into this political trap. The reason as to why I'm saying this, ladies and gentlemen, let me just prove my answer. First of all, Raila Odinga's demands that William Ruto accepted to give in to, the way they are saying, will not sorted out, will not be sorted out personally by President William Ruto. Will not, William Ruto will not wake up and say, Raila Odinga, you have said this and this and this and have agreed, let us do that way. No. It will have to follow a legal process. It will have to follow the constitutional process. And that is why William Ruto has sent Ray Odinga's demands to be sorted out in Parliament. <coughs> Remember that, ladies and gentlemen, in Parliament, William Ruto has numbers. <laughs> Therefore, William Ruto still has a say in the Parliament. Ray Odinga will go and meet with the majority leader in the parliament and also the majority leader in the senate. Ray Odinga will go and meet with somebody like Kimani Ichungwa, <laughs> the majority leader in parliament. 
we all know how Kimani Chungwa has been operating recently. We all know how uh, the, the, the is it the majority leader in the Senate by the name Aaron Chiriot, how he operates politically. So basically what I'm trying to say here is that it is not guaranteed that Relo Dinga's demands will be sorted out. And it's only a matter of time that you will hear Relo Dinga complaining also. Just a matter of time, just wait and see. Because his demands, he will table it or he will table these demands uh, in parliament, yes, they will have a bipartisan approach, they will collaborate, they will have several meetings to agree on, but also remember that Pre President William Ruto has the majority in parliament. Definitely he has a say, and yesterday he met with several Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance members of the National Assembly so that they can talk about these issues. Have you seen Reloading having a meeting with Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders? No. Have you seen Reloading having a meeting with <laughs> the Azimio calling for like a meeting with ODM party leaders or the Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders? Nope. But William Ruto has already talked to his members of the National Assembly on how to handle this matter because it's too much sharp, it's very well much organized. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, President William Ruto managed to lay out a political trap to Relo Dinga, whereby Relo Dinga managed to call off the mass actions without considering the very, very important key issue, which, I, in my personal consideration, it will hunt him thoroughly. Relo Dinga failed or called the, off the mass action without considering the high cost of living, which was part of the demands that he was raising. <laughs> if I were a Lord Inga, I would have said that for me to for me to, 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 to agree on this dialogue, first of all, President William Ruto has to lower the high cost of living so that at least it can go out to the public there, public domain that Relo Dinga is too much seriously fighting for the common Mwananji. But immediately Railo Dinga agreed for this dialogue, this peaceful dialogue this bipartisan approach. Just because William Ruto has agreed to, uh, to, to, to give in to his demands on the IEBC issue, <laughs> you can clearly tell what Railo Dinga is fighting for. It is not a common Mwananji, but it is because of his personal interest. I'm just breaking down for you, ladies and gentlemen, so that we can agree on these things, we can agree on this matter. If I were Railo Dinga, I would have said Mwananji first. Let the challenges of the ordinary Wanganji to be sorted out before even I go to that dialogue table. Before you offer me anything else, let the challenges of ordinary Wanganji to be discussed. But here we will find a situation whereby Relo Dinga's interest or the Azimio Lomoja Alliance interest will be sorted out. What about the ordinary Wanganji who have been participating in the mass actions who have been injured, others have been killed during the recent Mandamanos. Who will speak on behalf of them? I'm just saying. Thirdly, ladies and gentlemen, there is no handshake. There is no handshake at all. So Railo Dinga was definitely cornered. Railo Dinga uh, expected that maybe if William Bruto will accept this dialogue, that because William Bruto has accepted the bipartisan approach, at least it will offer him a position through something called handshake. But just go to Dennis Itumbi's page, Facebook page, you can clearly tell what he has posted there. He said that Relo Dinga will accept, will accept his opposition role, his opposition leadership. There's no way that Relo Dinga can run away from that. There's no handshake. Relo Dinga will not be given an opportunity in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. And thirdly, or fourth, my fourth point, ladies and gentlemen, is that I think William Ruto knows very well that this is a well-laid strategy to begin the start or uh, the, the, the fallout between Railo Dinga and Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders. William Ruto is too much ready to offer what Railo Dinga is demanding his personal interest. What about 
other as Miodo Moja Alliance leaders, if Raila Odinga will be sorted out, his personal interest will be achieved. What will other as Miodo Moja Alliance leaders who have been participating with Raila Odinga, what will they do? Which position, which interest are going to be served to them? Actually, in fact, I've heard about the rumors that there is now the political uh, divisions in Azimio Lomoja Alliance because Ray Lutinga made several decisions while meeting with William Ruto without even consulting this Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders. And Ray Lutinga, there's a possibility that he made several mistakes because he did not invite even a single Azimio Lomoja Alliance leader to be with him during that meeting. I think Ray Lutinga should have made a proper decision by inviting even Martha Karua during that conversation. But that is that. That is how railroading has been operating. And thirdly, or my fifth point is that uh, there's no handshake, the bitter fallout which I've talked about. I think I've consumed all of my political points, but I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. What's your opinion about this issue? Do you think that Raila Odinga accepting the dialogue between him and William Ruto was a political trap. Let me hear your opinion on the comment section below. Others, I don't have much to add. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.